What's going on everybody? Brad here, back with another toy hunt for you guys. So I am at Target once again, gonna see what we can track down. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. None, none. I feel like uh, we, we got our big push for a little bit and we're probably in like a little bit of a lull until, I don't know, maybe until the holiday season, I would guess, I would venture to say, but We'll go see if we can find anything out there. On the shelves, together, we'll see what we can find. Ready? Is this thing uh, straight up and down? All right, let's go out on the hunt. All right, starting off over here today. In the, uh, I guess you can say collector section. And here's something I've been wanting for a while. Frankenstein's monster from NECA. Look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. That is super cool. So yeah, I've had this um, pre-ordered for a while online and I have no clue when it's shipping, but uh, might be worth just grabbing here because that is too cool. And this box is fantastic. Um, man, look at that. So good. Oh, I love the Universal Monsters. All right, so. What, what, what? Okay, lots of Indominus, okay. Uh, what is happening here? No. I spy. Jurassic Lego updates here. Ooh, look at this, look at all of it. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing. Can't wait to take a look. All right, so. Last time around, we did see this one with Kenzie and Sammy and Owen. Very cool looking set. Um, this is this is pretty fun. I'm digging this. Darius, Baby Raptor, Yaz, Guard, and Owen. Super cool. Plus that Barry. I dig this. I like these like alternate reality Lego sets. They're fun pretty cool unless it happens in season four I don't know maybe that's possible I guess I dig it though that's fun and that baby raptor though oh man what does it mean Back. I love it that's super cool that's a, it's a fun looking set I don't know plus it actually works in the water pretty pretty decent You go here's another set pretty cool interesting i mean it's like what why but cool little trike there is an egg giant t-rex fossil in the is it center for some reason or uh innovation center go go well with like uh i think i showcased it recently that uh, fossil set Make it like an amber, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Lockwood set or something like that. And lastly, we have Ben, Brooklyn, and Claire, and Bumpy, and uh, Stiggy. That's pretty cool. Decent little set. Cool looking truck again. Kind of looks more like, um, I think it's a Duplo set. It's kind of interesting. They've made some cool Jurassic ones in the past, but it's like kind of blending the two here. Normal Lego and what in the world? Really? Wow. <laughs> cool, the truck separates too. That's kind of fun. Bumpy goes down slides. You can learn to build. All right, so there you have it. That was uh, our little trip out there. And it's, uh, yes, it's all, it's all coming down. It's all falling apart. Uh, yes, yes, let's start off first with the good things, the positive things. So there were some new Lego sets, that was very cool. Um, I, I forget when it was, whether it was last week or whatever. There, I did see that Lego set, the Carnotaurus one, with Sammy and Kenji, I think, um, and Owen. But uh, that was it, that was the only one I saw, and I think that was like pre the release date of the item. Um, 
And so anyway, that was cool to see those, all of those sets. Uh, I really like that T-Rex skeleton one. That one looks pretty cool. The Baryonyx boat one looks fun. And that, that uh, I mean, that baby raptor makes me question things like, what's going on? Why is there a baby raptor there? Is maybe that baby raptor in the boat at the end of uh, Camp Cretaceous season three? I don't know, but it would be fun to find out, hopefully. Um, anyway, very cool to see new Lego sets. As always, they're a bit hefty. You know, they're a bit pricey for what they are, but uh, I mean, that's fairly standard with Lego. So, you know, you kind of know what you're getting there. But um, as far as the, the Mattel stuff, I don't even think I, I don't even think I showed anything really. Um, and uh, one thing that I actually, I, I didn't film, uh, I was kind of bummed about, it. I wanted to film it, but there was a bunch of people around, um, was the fact that the end cap, you know, the big Jurassic World legacy end cap is gone. It's no more, it's kaput. Um, and uh, it, it's just, it wasn't there and I was bummed. I mean, they replaced it with a, a big Barbie uh, thing there. So that's fine. And uh, it's, you know, still Mattel, so that's good. But um, yeah, it was, it was no longer there. And I actually couldn't find any of the toys that were there previously. So we saw the shelf, right? So the, the normal main shelf, I did film that for a second and there was just like minimal, very, very minimal things there. Um, but there used to be a bunch of other things like like other Nedries and, and uh, Explorers. And actually, I, didn't even, I don't even think I saw any Explorers and stuff. So I was like wondering where did all of that stuff go? Typically, you can hunt around and find it on like a different shelf or, um, you know, on some sort of clearance back of an end cap thing, back of an aisle. And um, I, I couldn't find it anywhere. It was nowhere to be found. So I have no idea. I have no idea what ever happened to that. And I was bummed. I was bummed. I was looking for some clearance. Maybe there was something out there good, but no, nah, not this time around. But um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Jurassic. It's a weird time right now for the main toys. But like I said... We're heading into the spooky season, so after that is when Camp Cretaceous Season 4 is supposed to hit. So, you know, we got some time before there's some new stuff probably hitting the shelves. I don't know. But, yeah. Anyway, some new stuff and some stuff just disappearing completely. Also, I did pick up that um, that Frankenstein figure. So I did have that, like I think I said in the video, but I had it pre-ordered via um, Entertainment Earth. But, I, you know, I, I actually pulled it up on my phone when I was in there and I was like, oof. So this, it's the same price as, as it is in store, but it was like $10 shipping uh, from Entertainment Earth. And I'm like, I, I can I can bypass that. Let's just get it right here, right now. Um, and uh, I, so I'm happy I got that. I was able to pick that up. So that's a good thing. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it for the toy hunt this week. I, I appreciate you all for watching for tuning in and hopefully enjoying the hunt and uh please go to jurassicparkpodcast.com follow us on all the social media platforms out there and uh make sure to listen to the podcast so thank you so much we'll see you next time stay safe be kind and enjoy